Okay, we're back from Crown Rally, and the videos are coming. They're on their way. Unfortunately, we lost a lot of footage. Um, there's anybody to blame, and just myself. You know, my co-pilot did not sign up to do this rally to be a cameraman. He did not sign up to be hitting buttons on cameras and shooting stuff out the window with the nice Sony camera that I have and I was not aware what was going on because obviously I was driving so stuff happened you know we unfortunately lost 75 percent of the footage that I was hoping to have due to <laughs> uh me not catching on to what was happening and him not understanding how to use quick capture mode on a GoPro. Uh, you know, and again, it's not his fault. He, I didn't really catch what was going on so I couldn't properly educate him on what to do. Uh, so if you have a GoPro and you leave it off, right you don't turn it on it's not permanently running there's quick capture so you can just hit that power button once real fast just click it and it turns into video so I'm shooting video right now Ooh, and I click it again real quick it saves it it shuts it off uh, what happened on the drive was he held this button like this that is now actually shooting time-lapse photography. So it's not shooting video. So 75% of the footage I was hoping to have is time-lapse photography. Uh, again, he's not at fault. It's my fault. He did not sign up to be a cameraman, you know, shoot video for me on this rally. He signed up to enjoy the rally, experience it, uh, drive a little bit, and technology was not involved in that agreement. So it is on me. If I would have checked the GoPro every single night, maybe I would have caught what was going on and been able to, you know, fix the situation sooner. There was a situation where we used the backup GoPro because he said the SD card was full. Uh, and that was, I thought, understandable because we were getting, you know, a significant amount of footage. Uh, what it turns out is <laughs> time-lapse photography takes up a buttload of space on an SD card. That's why the SD card got full. So I didn't check the GoPro that night. And, you know, again, it's just all on me. It really boils down to it's on me, not his fault. You know, live and learn. We had a couple of those things on the rally that were interesting. You know, we lost footage. Um, we walked to the pre-party the first night instead of taking the bus, which was an adventure. Uh, myself, my co-pilot, Chris Shiflett in the Factory 5 that you guys will see. Uh, with the Flash Gordon wrap, his co-pilot Mike, we just walked. Uh, we didn't want to wait for the buses that were shuttles. Uh, it was taking too long, so we just walked to Navy Pier from the hotel. And, you know, there's just other random stuff like that that happened. So, yeah, it is what it is, right? But that's part of rally life. It's something happens out of your control that leads to the story. So we got a good story for this first video uh, that is not even a video of the rally yet, and it's just explaining what is coming. Uh, the other thing is, is that because that footage is lost, I don't know how I'm going to break down all the footage that is left. It is looking like there will be a pre-rally party. So the pre-party, the track day, will be one video. Uh, the launch from Chicago to Louisville will be another video. 
Louisville to Nashville will be another video. And then Nashville to Charlotte will be a video. And then we will have uh, Charlotte to the Shriners Hospital. There's not a lot of footage on that day. But there is enough footage that we can show what happened and then summarize everything. So it looks like five-ish videos possibly, uh, maybe four. We might have to condense some stuff down. But the videos are coming. It's just gonna take me some time. You know, I wanna make sure that we have really, really good, um, I just want the quality to be good. I want it to be well done. I don't want it to be rushed. So that means trimming B-roll, doing a lot of stuff. You know, there's stuff that I am catching right now with my camera, the Sony that was funky at the pre-party. I was doing like panning shots and it looks like wavy. It almost looks like it's, uh, you know, I don't know. It looks like I put an effect on it to make it kind of funky and I didn't. So I'm not real sure what's going on. Uh, the other footage I have looked at from other days appears to be fine until I get it into Premiere and start editing. Obviously I won't know, but when I'm playing it uh, as a preview, it, it appears to be fine. So that's what's going on. You know, unfortunately, technological errors were made. So, yeah. But again, if you are doing an event, if you have a GoPro, it is off. Simple push and release. And you're good. Uh, but yeah, we will. Hopefully, I will have the first video done. Uh, today is Thursday. I'm hoping to have it out next Thursday. Thursday has been my drop day for videos. So, you know, we'll try to get it out. I'm going to upload this. It is Thursday at 630. This will be uploaded live as soon as it's done. Uh, but the first video will probably be out next Thursday. It might be sooner. I don't know. Maybe we'll surprise you. Maybe we'll, you know, throw a little haymaker on you guys. Uh, not a haymaker. I guess it would be a sucker punch because it's out of nowhere. But, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we do. I mean, it's just really, oh, it's all my fault. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, but be patient. Crown stuff's coming. I'm back. I told you I'm back. Won't be talking head next time. A lot of B-roll and a little bit of talking head. So we'll see you then. Peace.